Dinel Dynamics, it's uh, a division of Dinel. We say it's um, the area in South Africa that uh, pushes the boundaries of technology. Technology not only for research, but technology that's, that leads to products. Because whatever we do in our technology developments, innovation, if it doesn't result in a product that will be sold, then we'll be failing in our mandate. We have to be able to, in the end, be able to have uh, products that we can sell, services that we can sell, to be able to generate revenue for the company. For us to be able to be ambassadors in technology of the country, the people and the technologies are key for us to be able to deliver on the products and the services that we expected to deliver on. And when you talk about the skills that we develop for the products that we deliver, the skills we don't only develop them for dynamics, we develop them for South Africa. We should be able to look back and say we have trained 100 engineers. Slightly more than 50 are still with us. The other 40 something percent are with the broader South African industry. Then we are happy. We are a state-owned company. Our mandate is not only to generate profits, it's also to ensure that we train high-end people, we employ people, and we attract foreign exchange through exports. We have embarked upon a project which is still in development stage. We call it project growth because uh, Dinal Dynamics is growing at a rate higher than 10%. So that growth means that current people won't be able to execute the business going forward. We need more people. And with our kind of business, if we don't have specialists in, in different areas, we won't be able to do the work. You need generalists, but you need specialists. So we've decided to develop a program which we are going to work jointly with the universities or institutions of higher learning. Identified engineering areas that we are going to focus on to develop specialists in those areas. So that uh, between now and year five, South Africa should have specialists in different areas of engineering. That then would be probably at the age younger than 35. Then we know that from then, for at least 20 years, we have specialists in different areas. We are very excited about that project. That is one of the things that make me look forward to coming to this office. It's ensuring that uh, we are going to have the skills tomorrow to position Dynamics, Dinel, or South Africa to still be competitive. Because unless we are competitive, we'll never be able to contribute economically to the country objectives we won't be able to. And if we fail to participate, it means we won't be able to invest in the things that we are very passionate about, the technology and the people. We can only invest if we are able to generate profits in the business. And I must say we've been successful on this project. We invest tens of millions of rands year on year on technology out of our own funding. We invest tens of millions of friends on people development year on year, which to be is the most important, more important than the products we see, because the products are just the end of the hard work, but the technologies and the people, that's what we call the heart of innovation, the heart of creativity, and that is what is going to drive competitiveness and for us to be able to really meaningfully contribute in the economy of the country. It's not easy. But if I, if I can successfully achieve that, that when I look back, I say this is representative of South Africa. All people are working in this program and it's successful. And when we deliver, we export our products, we say South Africans build this product, then I'll be really happy. So, in my position, I've achieved a lot of things, but there's much more that I still have to do. Ensure that the growth that we, are, we have embarked upon, the business growth, that will be able to sustain it. That we will continue with the limited resources to be on the cutting edge of technology, with the limited resources that we have to train the best engineers that can match any engineer in the world. That is my task and I think with the team I have of executive managers, we are going to win that one.